Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we'll be analyzing the lore and symbolic indications given by the Train Ride First Person segment, why this segment matters in the general story of Arion, as well as some theories regarding it. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Before we get into theory, let's quickly review everything that happens in this scene. This is a flashback that occurs after Elster inserts the VCR and the VCR player in the ICU room on the new hospital floor. This flashback shows Arion alone on the train, as the city passes by outside the windows. While waiting in the train car, there is a propaganda poster against Bouillon, and on the opposite side is a propaganda poster for the Penrose program. Upon approaching the other side, Arion will disappear, and in her place will now lay the gold key required for entering surgery. So let's start with the most common theory, that this scene is the moment where Arianne decided to sign up for the Penrose program. This decision that likely resulted from her general dislike of life on Rotfront, we know she disliked Rotfront due to having no friends, being bullied, and generally being a social outcast, signs of which we can say even here in this scene as she rides the train alone. And perhaps in this moment, as she was alone on the train, she looked to her right, she saw the Penrose poster, and decided that that was the future she wanted. Better to be alone in space than alone and bullied in rot front. However, there is an alternate theory that can result if we meddle with the timeline of it. To begin, it's not exactly known when this scene occurs. While most theorize it to just be a random train ride home from a likely school, what if it wasn't? First possible timing for this is that it occurs after the bullying event that Issa walks in on. Lots of people have various theories about the bullying event that Issa walks in on it's regarding its importance in Arianne's decisions and importance in Issa and Erica's and Arianne's entire dynamic. However, for the sake of this video, understanding that possibly this bullying event likely motivated Arianne to join the Penrose program is not too far-fetched. And for anyone that possibly brings up the lack of bruising and scars on her, it should be noted that even in the medical record, it states that the bruising was something of the past that Ariane suffers from in her past medical history. So there is a high chance she just isn't bruised by the time she's sent back to the hospital, which we can assume that the train ride might be closer to than the actual bullying scene. However, there is a second possible timing, uh, one that clocks this event in way earlier in the timeline. Um, this support could be seen in Ariane's shorter hair and the aforementioned lack of bruises. If it happens way earlier in the timeline, when Arianne's a child, there is a decent bit of symbolism that can be connotated with it that I'm going to get into real quick. Most people tend to agree that the Penrose on the right of Arianne is indicative of Arianne's decision to join the program. However, it most seem to ignore the fact that there's another sign on this train, the sign on the left of Boyon. If we assume it holds the same connotation as the Penrose symbol, then it is symbolic of her past, or whatever that means. Especially if we consider that this event happens earlier in life, and we accept that timeline point, this could be Arianne's very first train ride from Lang, or from the Rotfront um, signal towers, to her new home in Rotfront, um, which would indicate that her dream of joining the Penrose has been long in the coming. There is another hint of minor symbolism. This can be seen in the color of the next car. The next car has a clear yellow tint that is not present in the prior car. This can be seen as symbolic of her eventual fate of succumbing to the Yellow King's distortions. Finally, we can turn to the item that she leaves behind. The gold key is a very interesting object. Ignoring the debug info that it is known as the void key, even in game, it provides many questions to the lore. And I'm actually going to take the time in this video to try and explain it. First of all, the elemental keys in-game, all of them, have a letter on it that corresponds to the proper element that it is depicting based off the first letter of the word in German. For example, fire has an F, water has a W, air has an L for Luft, however the gold key does not have a G, despite both German and English having a G be the first level of gold. Instead, it has an A. Some theorists believe it is symbolic of the elemental symbol for gold, AU. However, it can also be considered symbolic of Arianne's name. But that's not all that's interesting about it. Looking at the patterns on all the other keys, one will quickly note that they are very circuit-like, seeming havingly a random combination of connections of circuits to make up their code. However, the gold key is different in this aspect. 
It has a rather simple circular design of its wiring. Finally, we can finish our investigation by looking at where we use this gold key. The entry to the surgery room requires all of the aforementioned keys, and depicted on that door is the letters and symbols that correlate to the keys that are needed. However, looking at the slot for the gold key, we see the letter K instead of A or G, symbolizing that the gold key isn't gold as in the element, but gold as in high ranking, or K as in commander, or most likely folks or some high ranking Calibri or Storch's key. The ability that Arion's key actually works here has many implications, be it that Arion used her bioresonance to craft the key to help Elster keep going, or that Arion is the true authority in the facility now that Falk's adoration to her has persisted to the level it has. Whatever it is, it is certainly something to note for future theories. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe or to join either my main Discord link below, the unofficial Signalist Discord, or the r Signalist Discord, all linked below. All three are awesome places that you'll be able to find people to talk about Signalis too. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is all I've got for you. I think the train ride is certainly an interesting scene in understanding the history of Ariane, which is something that is largely crowded in mysteries. But for today, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.